Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm gonna be playing Grip on the Nintendo Switch Combat Racing game on the Nintendo Switch. I already did upload a video in portable mode, so I hope you actually watch that video. Um, and I showed you guys the unboxing and all that, the case and all that. Um, I did show you guys the tutorial and the vehicles available here. There's a whole bunch of vehicles that are locked. Uh, but like you see there, I actually changed the color of my vehicle. It used to be red and um, neon green. Now it's like blue and neon green. Uh, when you unlock stuff, it's going to be all here. Every car, every vehicle has different um, decals. So that's the cool thing about this game right there. And But I'm honestly, I think I'm going to keep the same vehicle that I've been using. This is another vehicle that I was... I'm thinking of using this is uh, the Dreadnought, but I don't think I'm going to be using it right now in this video. So let's go into campaign. I want to continue uh, because I want to show you guys a little bit more of what to expect on the campaign mode. Uh, because most likely if you're going to be playing offline in portable mode like I am 90% of the time, um, that's the mode you're gonna be playing the most campaign mode and single player mode of course you can also play in split screen mode which is really good um, and when you play in split split screen mode you can actually share your joy cons so each person can have one joy con and just with one joy con you can actually play the game so it's a very when it comes to the control wise it's very simple to play the mechanics of the game actually feels really nice too. I have no problems with the mechanics. The only problem that I've been having so far is that um, sometimes, I, I have to say sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it fall, the vehicle falls out of the track and everything goes crazy. You can see the cars flipping around and like going off the screen. Kind of weird. It, it almost feels like uh, the uh, when like you feel right there it almost feels like when you're playing one of those open world games and your character falls off the map and he just keeps floating so that i've been it, i've been experiencing that with this game so far um and but other than that you know other than that like i gotta say the mechanics do feel really good right now here i'm actually using the pro controller uh, not a pro pro controller, but the one that I actually made a video for it a couple I think it was last week That's the controller that I'm using here, and it feels really good it feels way better than Using the joy cons. Okay here. I got blasted or something like that when the screen goes like that crazy Okay, this is to guard my behind <laughs> just in case somebody's trying to shoot at me Sixth place, lap two out of two. Okay, come on, there you go. Three. Oops. Okay, we got this is like machine gun. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The thing of the machine gun that if your cat if your if your weapon doesn't lock onto the enemy, it doesn't really do that much money. Uh, that much damage. Oh, yeah, I got that one. That was a really good one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. I didn't get anything there. Yeah, I gotta say, playing it on the big screen is a little bit better than on the Nintendo Switch portable screen. Because um, in the big screen, I can actually see... Uh, when there's one of those roadblocks coming from far away on the little screen is a little bit harder to see because you're going so fast And like you see here if you saw my first video you can see that um, on the last race I'm having problems with hitting these roadblocks right there. Like you see there. Whoa, the vehicle got off the track So the best thing to do when that happens is right away right away press on and hold the negative button that way your car resets fast into the track don't wait for the car to keep bouncing around in that because you're going to lose a lot of time so make sure if, if your car if you see that your car is off the track and 
going crazy. Press and hold the, the negative button. Okay, here you go. We got another shot right there. Boom. Beautiful. You know what I don't like when the missiles and weapons hit the vehicles that you are targeting? Um, they don't explode. They just get hit and, you know, they just get hit and, and fall to the side. And they reset again and go, I'm go you don't see the vehicles like exploding. That would have been freaking nice. But you don't see that here in this game. Uh, okay, so here is the next race, which is basically like nighttime. Uh, the level or the track is basically almost the same. Yeah, a little bit open world there. Doesn't look that good. I gotta say, some tracks do not look that good at all. Most likely on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I'm pretty sure this game is, is gonna look a lot better on those consoles. Uh, on the portable mode, if you saw my first video, I was having a hard time using the right thing. The oh crap, you're going out of the map again. Oops, there you go. <laughs> but you see, when you see your vehicle flying away, just press and hold the negative button. We turn back again. Look at that. We didn't miss that much in fourth place. And we're gonna knock this guy out. There you go. Fourth place. Okay, we got a missile going. Hit that sucker. Did I hit him? I don't know. Oh crap. Fourth place. I shoot. I did the machine gun, but I didn't lock on to the to any of them. Sixth place. Aye, that's bad. That was not good. Right behind glitch. Okay, so let's keep on going. Uh, keep in mind, I am editing a little bit the loading time. That way I can actually fit a little bit more gameplay. And uh, make the video, I try to make the video as short as possible. Uh, but the loading time in this game is really good. It's been like like less than 10 seconds when it comes to loading time. So loading time is really good in this game. Excuse me. Uh, these open world stages, they do feel a little bit better. I like these a little bit better than the ones that you're locked to the track. You guys already you if you saw the portable mode gameplay you already you already saw this stage. There you go. Come on. Oh crap. Oh okay, let's go and try to get this. Okay, we got a machine gun. Okay, there's a missile. What the hell was that? That was not another vehicle. That was like some some tower. Okay, we're gonna reset here. Huh? I guess the freaking uh, these are not the vehicles targeting me. Okay, oh man, let's get out of here. outrun it we're what position one lap two let's see if we can keep it up oh like I was saying before I was having a hard time pressing using the second item that you see collected there um, in portable mode for some reason I don't know why in portable mode the R was not using the second item but um, with the Pro Controller, I'm having no problem using it. That's kind of weird because in portable mode, like you see here, I'm actually using it. 
in portable mode, I was actually having problems using the second... Oh crap, look at this. This is what I hate. I jump out of the track too much. Wrong way? What do you mean wrong way? It's going the right way. And here, with the Pro Controller, I'm actually playing it better because I can actually use both items, the left one and the right one. I don't know if it's my Nintendo Switch, my Joy-Cons. Okay, oh, let's see if I can make this jump. Oh crap, barely made it, barely made it. Oh crap. Holy crap. You came first. What? How the hell did I come first? It said, it said that I was sixth position six. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know how I came out first because I saw that I was not first. So I got a tiebreaker. Okay, Mark TG wins because of best combined race time. Okay, so look at that. I won because of tiebreaker. Uh, he got tier two unlocked, like you see there. Tier two is a now unlock. And now, of course, keep in mind, if you want to race on other races, or other tiers with different vehicles, you can do that too. You don't have to stick with the same vehicle over and over again. Um, honestly, I'm just sticking to this vehicle because I want to master it. But you can change vehicles to whatever other vehicle you want. So right now here, I'm going to go ahead and choose oop, oop, continue. And I'm going to choose this tier two tournament race. Event one. Okay, this track, I don't know if you actually saw it on my first video, I think not. Now, one thing for sure, if you're asking me between this game and Fast RMX, which one looks better in my opinion? Honestly, I think Fast RMX looks better than this game. Level wise and vehicle wise, even though I like these vehicles more because um, um, fast RMX is basically like like little ships flying around, like floating on the on the level on the stages. But the graphic wise, I think fast RMX looks better, and environment and world and stages wise, fast RMX looks better as well. Um, weapon wise. They're pretty much the same, in my opinion. Weapon wise, pre pretty much the same. Oh my god, what the hell? Look at this. Oh my god, I'm having a. What the hell? I don't know how the hell I fell on this track. <laughs> Sometimes you can't really explain. This right here might make you vomit. Oh my god, look at this. Really? Holy crap. Oh my god. Too many twists and turns. Okay, we're, we're barely. We're last. Oh no! Okay. Come on. We're last. Lap two. Soundtrack too. Soundtrack, I think Fast RMX has a better soundtrack. What the hell happened there? Crap, I must have got hit by that guy. Oh, crap. Soundtrack wise, I think Fast RMX is also better than this game. And think about it, Fast RMX was a launch title. So, I mean, this game should look better than Fast RMX, but in my opinion, it doesn't. In my opinion, I think far, Fast RMX, I think it's better. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, my car is going fast as hell. Ah, crap. We are sixth place. Damn! I am not looking good in here. At least I was not last. <laughs> Okay, let's just go ahead. Okay, so here in this this section right here, we completed that. Okay. 
Okay, so here I switched to, I skipped the other race because it was another track that you guys already saw. So in this video, this race is basically like snow. So at least you get to see a stage in snow. There's other stages in snow as well, but this is one of them. And just so I can finish the video during this race. And you know, a lot of people of course are gonna ask, do I like this game or not? Um, honestly, I have very mixed emotions about this game. I don't really liking it that much because for me it feels too much like fast RMX. I think the weapons are not that cool. The vehicles, I don't like that the vehicles jump off the track too much and you know, I don't know. I just don't like it. Shooting doesn't feel that good. The stages, they don't look that nice as well. But if you like what you see here, and you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. I'll leave links in my descriptions for this game just in case you're interested in getting it. But you know, this game does look good in some occasions, but most of most of the time, it just doesn't look good in my opinion. Look at the walls, look at the ceiling. You know, I'm pretty sure that it looks like that because it's on the Switch. I'm pretty sure it looks way better on the on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I'm pretty sure. But you can see that the, uh, sometimes the sand or the, the snow looks, you know. When you're hitting a vehicle with a missile or something like that, they just, instead of blowing up, they just, you know, slow down and that's it. Okay. But, I hope you guys actually like the gameplay. Of course, the game that I've been playing a lot lately is Diablo 3. I can't stop playing that game. That game is amazing. I love it. I love it really much. And I don't think this game is actually going to pull me off from Diablo. So, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, you got to see a video in portable mode, which I uploaded earlier. And this video in TV mode, so that way you guys can actually appreciate a little bit better the graphics. And see how it actually looks on the big screen. Um, like I said, I really don't like it that much. I think it looks a little bit too generic for a combat racing game. And um, that's it. But let me know what you guys think about this game so far. Thanks for watching this video. And of course, if you're interested in this game, uh, hit the links in my descriptions. And you can read a little bit more about this game or other games as well. Thanks for watching this game video gameplay of grip combat racing for the nintendo switch till next time guys bye bye